Washburn week coming up, Coach. I know you've been involved with a lot of these games. What are some of your best memories from this rivalry? Well, uh, one thing, I, you know, when I was here, the first two years, we um, they were still in our conference, which was the old CSIC, uh, and then they uh, broke off. A lot of teams in that conference course broke off and, and went Division II, and we stayed in the eye. So I had two years of it. The one thing that I remember is when I was a freshman was the uh, – the sideline, I was over there, not amongst it, but uh, the sideline brawl, um, you know, I remember that and, you know, some crutches being raised up in the air with an injured player and, you know, it was pretty, uh, you know, it was pretty intense. Uh, and I also remember we went there my sophomore year and got, it was a, it was a shootout. I think it was 50, I don't know, it was in the 50s. I think they beat us by three points and Coach Kramer was definitely upset after the game. I think he broke his toe. Uh, kicking the, the Gatorade jug. And I remember uh, Troy Slusher, I think was his name, the receiver they had. Uh, I'm always a name guy back in the day, just remembering players who I thought were really good. And he, he, had, a, he had a big day against us. We lost a close game. I know Coach was mad. And for some reason, he didn't want to lift the jug up and throw it out. He decided to kick it and uh, broke his toe. So I know his, I know his feelings. I know, I know how he feels at times. Last year, a game that went overtime, your guys found a way to win it, and it seems like uh, your team has had the advantage over the last couple of years, but every year it seems like this is a dogfight. Yeah, it is, you know, and last year we were uh, uh, kind of on a little bit of a roll uh, last year at this time, you know, kind of, uh, but, but uh, and we also come off a tough loss at home against Missouri Western, and uh, I remember last year we uh, we threw, had two turnovers uh, inside the 10, and uh Justin Brown had a did a great job as far as blocking uh, their field goal, and then we're able to send it into overtime, and we ended up getting the win. But you know, it's always a very competitive game. Uh, I think it's fun. I think rivalries are fun. Uh, everybody has them, whether you're in high school, college. I think that's you know something special about college athletics. Um, so yeah, we know it's going to be a, another another great game. You know, it's both teams that have really uh, been, I feel like, kind of identical as far as like been in a lot of games, had opportunities to win games and, and uh, just didn't get it done and, and lost close games. So, um, you know, that's that's the thing about it is I think both teams are, are very good football teams, you know, so it makes for a good football game. Is this one of those uh, meetings that regardless of where the teams are in the standings, the whatever is taking place, to maybe the stakes or the intensity elevates just a little bit? Well, I don't know if it necessarily elevates anymore. I think for the most part for us, it's just, I'm sure for them too, you know, the MIAA is such a grind in itself that each and every game should be, you should be ready to play. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't be like, you know, okay, one game, uh, we're, we're not as ready because we feel like we can beat them. No, because that's what that's when you end up getting beat. So every game to me should be the same as far as your preparation goes. Uh, but, you know, just the the aspect of, you know, play, the, the, the history of this rivalry and, and the different stories that have uh, come about in this rivalry and not only in football, but just in other sports as well, I think is is awesome. And uh you know, so, but, uh, but, but I know their guys over there will be ready, and I know that our guys will be ready to play too as well. What Maybe about, not so sorry. much about Elevate. Can you just talk about you guys have won the past four turnpike tussles? Can you talk about how much confidence that has in the team? Because a lot well, of these players have done it. Well, yeah, they have, but I think, you know, uh, I don't know, you know, right now our confidence may not be as good as it needs to be just because we're setting where we're at, you know, record wise. And, um, so, so I don't know. Kind of going into this game, I don't think that's on anybody's mind, to be quite honest with you. And and if it is, it shouldn't be. To you know, be because you know every year's different. Um, you know, and 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 we've won a lot of games. So uh, our, our you know confidence level right now is 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 probably not as good as it's been in years past. But we got to figure out a way to to fight through that and 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 uh and again our guys have done a, a great job they do a great job each and every week of, of coming to work and and preparing and everybody's frustrated that's part of it and you know just uh you know it's about competing and uh i i know that our guys will will, will do that uh saturday and with the rivalry is this what the team needs fire them up yeah, you know, I, maybe so. I mean, honestly, when you're setting, you, you you begin to look at a lot of different. That's the thing about it is that, that 
you know, when you're winning a lot of times, you don't see some things that maybe you're making mistakes on uh, because you're winning, you know. Uh, but when you're losing, man, you really turn over every rock and just to, to try to figure out a way to, you know, make your make your team better. You know, I mean, everybody, coaches, players, all that. Um, you know, so, so yeah, maybe, maybe it is something that we need. Uh, we're back home. We haven't played really well uh, this year at home, so it would be nice to – uh, to, to get back home and, and to play Washburn and, you know, uh, hopefully come out on top. You know, I mean, that's what, that's what our guys need. You know, it always, regardless of your record, anytime you win, it's going to make you feel good. And, you you know, it would be nice to see some smiles in the locker room. And on that note, what do you think is the biggest thing that needs to change too? Well, I think that, uh, you know, for us, I feel like our guys, you know, I was, I was a little disappointed last week uh, really about our performance, but, but, you know, for the most part, I think uh, for us is just being more consistent offensively for one where I think we look really good maybe for a seven to ten minute stretch. Um, and then then we're it's like we're sliding back down the, the mountain a little bit. And uh, so I think that's that's been something that we got to get corrected. And uh, maybe that has to do with some confidence. Um, you know, we are playing a lot of young guys over there on that side of the ball, too. I think that, uh, you know, field position has been huge, uh, especially in our losses, you know, so we got to play better uh, special team. You know, we got we to play better on special teams. Uh, we've had some uh, unfortunate turnovers this year that I think we've always been a team that has done a really good job of protecting the football. And I think that uh, it's not like we've had a bunch of turnovers, but I think it's when we get them, uh, you know, during whatever, you know, third, fourth quarter, uh, that's led to the other team scoring that, you know, in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, could have caused this to, you know, at least add to part of losing the game, you know. So that's kind of where I see the things that we need to uh, to change at. And then we need to continue to play uh, at a high level defensively. And, um, you know, I think we get those things kind of corrected. And, and and hopefully that's at this week. Um you know, and, and kind of get back on track a little bit. Thanks so much. All right.